And finally, number one, automated sheets, tools like place name boundary. Let's now talk about automated sheets and sheet indexing. I want to add a couple of sheets, and I need to create and place a sheet index into my work set. Earlier, you saw me use the detailing tools to add an elevation to an existing sheet. Now, this could have easily been placed on a brand new sheet. This time, I'll create three brand new sheets and add them to my sheet index. Here, it's all about creating the drawing and creating the index sheet model and adding that to the index, the sheet index itself. Here, I'll create those sheets by creating an array along a path using the name boundary tool. Keep in mind that this is raw MicroStation. If you're an Open Roads user, use the tools there. They're a superset of what we have here in just plain MicroStation. For example, I'll pick station locations to begin and end where my sheets start and end, but there's no intelligence that's really built into those quote stations. Where ORD can define a true starting and ending station, here's just graphics with some text that lists what the station happens to be. The key thing here is if you're an Open Roads user, use the Open Roads tools to create your sheets, not MicroStation. If you're a MicroStation user and you don't use Open Roads, then certainly by all means use the MicroStation tools to do so. Compare this with Autodesk's Sheet Set Manager. This is more in line with sheet indexing, which I'll show you in a minute. I believe our sheet indexing is much more robust, allowing for links to drawings anywhere local or networked. We can automatically update any title block information with a field. Sheet indexing catalogs the drawing and updates the drawing name into the sheet index drawing list, along with a lot of other data as well. And you get to customize what data is displayed on the sheet index. What AutoCAD offers is similar to our sheet indexing, but it's not really dynamic views or drawing composition, and certainly not name boundaries or drawing and sheet creation. When creating an array along a path, the tool settings determine the spacing between each sheet. In the tool settings window, the setting for length, available only when by length is selected, sets the length of the name boundary element along the path. Now I'll snap to the text or to the line work that represents stations 1237 and ending at 1254, creating three different sheets. Now here, I'll set things like the scale, what the drawing boundary is, and where to add it to the sheet index, in this case, into the roadway plans folder. This, of course, will create three additional sheets making our total number of sheets 102. Try automating this in AutoCAD. Next, you should know that these three sheets were automatically added to our sheet index. I'll open our sheet index, and I'm ready to place our index. And you'll note that there's 102 sheets. If I was to take a look at the default sheet index, there are a lot of additional things that MicroStation tracks by default out of the box. I have a shorter version that I'll use for my work set. This is simply a report and can easily be customized to your needs and standards. I'll set the table seed to set the standards of how the appearance of my table looks on the sheet. I'll select the correct report and place it onto the sheet. If we take a look at our place sheet index, we'll notice that the three sheets that we just created were added to our sheet index. The best part about this, it's not static and it'll update as sheets are added. How cool is that? If we take a look at our place sheet index, we'll notice that the three sheets that we just created were added to our sheet index. And there you have it, a whirlwind tour of the top 10 capabilities in the MicroStation Connect Edition. Keep in mind, 
you always have a choice and a better one at that by using the MicroStation Connect Edition. Thanks for attending. You have a better choice for design, documentation, and visualization. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.